identifying graphs. We're going to look at six graphs and uh, their equations. Now, quadratic graphs, y equals x squared graphs, um, they have a char characteristic U shape. Um, if I can draw it, it's very difficult with this pen I'm using. Um, so any sort of U shaped graph is y equals x squared. And the reason for that is as x is increasing, y is increasing by the square of x, which is quicker, so it's going to curve upwards. And it curves upwards in the negatives because um, all square numbers are positive. Now obviously that graph can be moved up and down, left and right, depending what else is added to it. But if it's got an x squared in it, and that's the highest power, it's going to have a u shape. OK, the next one is y equals 3x minus 2. Um, this is what we call a linear graph. So that was a quadratic. or a squared. This is a linear or straight line. We know that because the highest power of x is just there's no, there's no power of x, it's just x to the power of 1, so it's 3 lots of x. 3 lots of x minus 2 um, we should be familiar with the y equals mx plus c where um, the minus 2 tells us where it goes through the y-axis and the, th the 3 tells us how steep it is. It's very poorly drawn but that would have a steepness of 3, 1 across 3 up, 1 across 3 up. The third one, y equals x cubed. x cubed graphs, if I can draw it, looks generally like this. Um, a lot like the x squared graph but with the negative numbers flipped over so they're going down. And we call that a cubic. So that's uh, y equals x cubed. Now, with, this can vary a bit so that this gets um, two humps in it with different variations. Uh, the standard y equals x cubed just has that, uh, what's called an inflection there. Um, but other versions of y equals x cubed could have two humps, a maximum and a minimum value. And then we move on to y equals 1 over x. If we think about 1 over x, as x gets very large, 1 over x gets very small. So we're, we're thinking that this value, is, as it gets large, is low. And as x approaches 0, 1 over a very small number is quite big. So it's going up to there. And this curves in this sort of fashion, where it curves, negative values curve. It never touches the axes. These are what are called asymptotes. Um, where the where the curve never reaches something but it attend, goes towards it and in this case it comes back on at the bottom when it turns negative and then it asymptotes towards the x-axis again so that's uh, a 1 over x graph or a reciprocal graph and then we've got um, a graph of the square root of x now as x gets large, uh, the square root of x isn't going to get as large as quick, so instead of going up like that, it's going to curve down like that. And this is an interesting graph because it has no values less than 0, x equals 0, because you cannot have the square root of a negative number, so it starts at 0, because square root of 0 is 0, but it has nothing on this side. And that's just a, a square root graph. Um, this one uh, is an example of an exponential graph. Exponential. Because, as uh, this is 2 to the power of x, this gets very big very quickly. If x was 0, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. I'll just say that was 1. And then when x is uh, 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2 then 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and then 2 to the power of 4 is 8, and 2 to the power of 8 is 16, and then that gets big very quickly. And then uh, as it, x gets uh, smaller and smaller, the uh, negative values, it actually tends towards 0. It doesn't get there again. This is another asymptote, okay? and it only has positive values. You can't have any negative values down here, so that curve there is an exponential graph.